Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. How are you today? I hope everybody is doing fine. Are you ready for today's lesson? Let's start. Year 6, Unit 10. Grammar, prepositions of place and time. For today's lesson, there are four activities that we are going to do. Firstly, for introduction, we are going to learn about what is preposition. Then, we are going to learn more about prepositions of place and time. In, on, at. After that, we are going to do a practice together by fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions of place and time. Finally, task for you to do. You need to click the link provided to complete the task and complete the exercise in your grammar book. Are you ready? Let's go! Activity 1. Introduction. What is a preposition? Preposition is word or a group of words used before a noun, pronoun or noun phrase to show direction time, place, or location. As for today's lesson, our focus is on the prepositions of place and time. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Activity 2. Prepositions of place and time. In, on, at. So everyone, we used these three words in, on, at to show time and place of a noun, pronoun, or noun phrase. Let's go through one by one on how to use these prepositions together, shall we? Look carefully at this inverted pyramid that we have here. For the word in, we normally use for the general or bigger details of time and place. On is used to show more specific details of time and place and the word at is used to show very specific details of time and place. Let's look at the examples. Years in 2021 months in August weeks in 2 weeks a time frame in 10 minutes. Holidays in the Christmas holiday. Parts of the day in the morning. Next one. Dates on 10th May. Days on Friday. Specific days on my birthday. Holidays with day on Easter day day part of the day on Sunday morning next one hours at 7 o'clock or at 7 a.m. parts of the day at night holidays without day at Easter next one place we use in for countries, in Malaysia, cities or town, in road, enclosed space, in the car. Next one. Streets or roads on Jalan Amalina Lestari. Surface on the floor. Address at 45 Jalan Lipis Specific location At the bus stop Alright, now let's look at some examples On how to use in, on, at, in sentences Number 1 My mother can prepare a meal in 10 minutes Number 2 she is in the room. Number three. He lives on Penang Island. 
Number 4. She was born on 21st January. Number 5. Shahrol is standing at the bus stop. And finally, number 6. See you at 2 o'clock. Okay, everyone. I hope with the help of these examples, you have better understanding on how to use the prepositions of place and time in sentences. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Activity 3. Practice. Let's try together. Fill in the blanks with the correct prepositions of time and place. Alright, for this activity, I'll give you one minute to try this on your own. You may write down your answer in a piece of paper. For example, number one, at, number two, in, and so on. Then, we are going to compare the answers together. Are you ready? Okay, your one minute starts now. Alright, time's up. Let's check the answers together. Number 1. Ira's birthday falls blank 2nd July. So, what is your answer? Yes. On. Next one. Number 2. I will see you blank lunch tomorrow. So, the answer is... Yes, at lunch tomorrow. Number three. The pupils were all blank the classroom. So what is the answer? Very good. In the classroom. Next one, number four. My father will be blank home this evening. Yes, that's right. At. Number five. Please be blank the school hall by 7.15 a.m. So, what is the answer? Very good. Act. Number 6. Najmi is going to Singapore blank Sunday. So, what is the answer? Yes, that's right. On. And finally, number 7. Inara's uncle leaves blank the island of Langkawi. So, what is the answer? Yes, that's right. On. Alright, so, do you got all the correct answers? If you do, well done and good work. Now, let's move on to the next activity. Activity 4. Task to do. Number 1. Click the link provided in the description box to complete the task. Number two, complete the task in your grammar book. So, this is task one. You need to click the link provided to answer questions. And this is task two. You may refer to your textbook on page 101. For this exercise, you need to do it in your grammar book and then send me the picture through WhatsApp once you finish these two tasks. Well, 
I think that's all for today's lesson. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Please stay at home and stay safe. See you next time. Bye.